Next up, Russ and I cover The Abyss, True Lies, Aliens, and more. Oh, okay. Welcome back to 4K Kings. My name is Matt. I am Russ. And welcome to your home of physical media, movie reviews, James Cameron. The 4K Kings are... <laughs> I know you f***ed me up because you fucking no, started talking immediately after I said my name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it one more try. Welcome back to 4K Kings. My name is Matt. I am Russ. And welcome to your home of physical media, movie reviews, James Cameron news, and more. That's right, Matt. <laughs> so, Russ, <laughs> right into the news then. <laughs> Russ, we're, we're kind of at the end of the year here. Thankfully, James Cameron has decided to make all of our dreams come true and finally announcing some of his best hits. Some of his greatest titles have just finally been officially announced. No more rumors. He's here to save physical media. You know what I mean? But before we get into that, Russ, I did want to just give a thank you to everybody out there that has been tuning in for this uh, this entire year. We're winding down. We only have a couple more videos left before we go on our winter break. I love all the comments that you guys leave and all the thumbs up that you give us and the thumbs downs too. And don't forget to send us an email. Don't forget to send something to the viewer mailbag, whether it's a question, whether it's a release you picked up. We're always thrilled when any of you decide to engage with us and we love to share that with everybody out there in the audience. Here's our email below. So Russ, let's get into this James Cameron update, something that people have been dying to hear about, especially from us, considering we're about two weeks late. You know what? Don't worry about it. Nah, who cares? These, <laughs> this, this announcement was about 10 years late. That is so true. At least. That is true. Abyss. You're right. It is finally happening. The Abyss, Aliens, and True Lies officially announced they're coming out in March of next year. So you're not getting them this year. March 12th, 2024, and Ultimate Collector's Editions. And I've already seen all the general Cameron doom and gloom stuff like, oh, well, you yeah, know, they're announced, but they're going to look like trash. They're going to be DNR to death. They're going to be Terminator 2 three times over. I, that's a rightful concern. Mm -hmm. it, that has happened more than once in the past. Can't we just be happy for what Disney's given us? Have I ever let you down? Avatar and Avatar Way of the Water also got announced for these like ultimate collector's editions in 4K as well, but they're coming out this year. Mm -hmm. And these are coming out next year. Titanic is as well. This year, yes. What's that bullshit? It makes complete um, sense to me. I mean, <laughs> they think Avatar would sell during the Christmas season. Titanic definitely would. Not the Abyss? No. <laughs> well, I mean, think about it, because the Abyss doesn't play to mothers or children. No. And Titanic and Avatar do, so that's what they're looking at. It, it as. plays to Ed Harris aficionados. Yes, and people who struggle with anger management. What is that? What is that? So, Russ, let's talk about The Abyss, the most important title of all three. Arriving, thankfully, uh, with the theatrical and special edition cut in 4K. Thank you so much. I talked before that I wanted the theatrical. So many people commenting that the special edition is the way to go. I'm actually a little surprised by that comment, only because you lived with The Abyss for 10 plus years, and then all of a sudden, a director's cut comes out, and immediately it's, this is the one. It's crazy to me that there isn't more people that stick to the theatrical camp because that's what they've loved and grew up with. And then all of a sudden there was this change. I mean, maybe that's just me. I reject it. So for anyone that cares, there's currently a trailer online that you can see sort of what the restoration work starting to look like. There's also a screening of it that's happening December 6th. You can go see it in the theater. As far as the release is concerned, let's dig in really quick. You're getting a 4K Blu-ray with a digital code and a combo pack with the new Dolby Atmos audio track as well. There are brand new features, a conversation with James Cameron talking about the origin and the production, a legacy of the abyss with James Cameron and others discussing how this title continues to endure over time. Then you've got all the archival stuff, documentary on the making of the film, several behind the scenes featurettes on the creation of certain scenes within the film, visual effects reel, a featurette on the use of miniatures, time-lapse control tech, all this kind of stuff. Honestly, it's the best thing that you could have probably wanted as far as what's coming with it. We're going to keep our fingers crossed on the transfer. I'm thinking you're not ready. Let's just focus on one thing here. This goddamn art. It's the typical, obviously, modernization, the floating heads. Ed Harris has never had that much hair in his life. You know, what is that? What is it? What is it? They gave him a full head of hair. And wait, Michael Bean had a mustache in this He movie? did. He had a bushy mustache. That's pretty rad. I think that's what's going to push me over to edge to finally watch it. You're so close on the original art. It's right down here at the bottom. 
with the title. Look at any poster for the Abyss throughout the history of time. It's always the huge letters. Yeah. This is completely some conjured up, you know. I'm with you. This is not bullshit. It. And what's interesting is you're getting two perspectives if you're watching this right now. Someone who grew up with it and love it and has context for the movie. Yeah. I've never seen it. And I can tell you if this was my introduction to the film, like, hey, do you want to watch this versus all the other? Or I wouldn't watch this in a heartbeat. My hope is that maybe as we get closer to time, because this is just an early reveal, that maybe we'll get a steel book. It's funny to <clears> me <throat> that there's no deluxe package announced for any of these yet. Yeah, at none of them. But to me, these are films that should have that sort of deluxe treatment, which none of these have gotten. So I'm curious if we'll get a steel book. Now that the 4K transfer is in existence, like it physically exists yeah. and is out there. Yeah. Dude, maybe not in North America specifically, but globally, we are gonna see releases of these films in perpetuity. Think about like when we were kids and not everybody collected movies the way we did, but your mother or something owned Wizard of Oz. James Cameron's movies are going to be like Wizard of Oz. They're going to be that gift that you, Titanic will be that forever. So you're saying my grandkids are going to be gifting to me yes, the abyss. Uh, 100%. <laughs> Let's get no, grandpa's abyss copy. No, nah, by that point, AI will take over your children and They'll I'll be, be in the be, abyss. Yes. yes. <laughs> they'll present me with a copy of the abyss where I'm in it. I'm yes. Michael Bean with the mustache. I'll be on this cover up here with more hair than I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I think the big thing everyone's like excited about is that they're finally here. Yeah. But if you really hate this artwork, I wouldn't be duped into picking this up immediately. If you think this is the only aliens yeah. 4K we're going to get, you're out of your mind. I want an original art steal 4K. Just take my money. Are yeah. you really going to day one buy this edition? I don't want to. I want to buy then a steel book. I want to buy a steel book. No, but I want to own this. You know how long I've waited for this? What am I going to wait that's another two years? That's how they're fucking us. And I do want to support physical media. But at the same time, I'm not man, waiting two I, more years. I hope you buy this. And next year, one year from now, when we're doing our top five 4Ks of the year, whatever, the fourth edition of The Abyss that comes out by the end of next year is going to make my top five, just so I can rub it in your face that you have this stupid fucking Michael Crichton 90s movie looking bullshit Sphere cover. Blech. I like Sphere. Let's move on to True Lies, Russ. Let's take a look at that. The greatest Cameron film or the worst Cameron film, depending on who you talk to. You've had some back and forth with some people in the comment section of our yes. of our last Cameron video. And you yes. were saying... Before we get into anything, for all of you telling me True Lies is this great, pivotal moment in 90s film, please tell me your top five Cameron movies. If True Lies is in your top three, you're lying. And that's all I was saying. But at the end of the day, it is lesser second tier James Cameron. You're putting true lies above aliens. You're putting true lies above Terminator. Get out of here. I bet most people wouldn't even put true lies above the abyss. I think I already know the answer to the question here. Personally, I'd put fucking Titanic over true lies. There were some people that did comment that True Lies is his best, and I was pretty shocked by that. I've never seen True, True Lies. I go along with what you're saying. I think people could easily put like a ranking, and I don't know where this would fall, but it would never be number one, in my opinion, and I've never even watched it. Exactly. So when people were coming in saying it's his best film, I'm like, what? Dude, Better I, than the original Terminator? There is nothing wrong with True Lies. It is perfectly enjoyable, yes. mindless. You forgot it like an hour after you watched it. Entertainment. But dude, you walk away from Terminator Aliens, all, you remember them for life. We're quoting Game Over Man, I'll be back, all that shit. What are you quoting from True Lies? The vet gets him wet. Even Titanic has quotes that everyone knows. What's your True Lies quote? Drop it down below. Since we've been completely negative about True Lies and all the people that really want True Lies, please don't click off this video yet. We've got important things to say. Um, so brand new features here. Also, looking back on True Lies with the cast and crew discussing the making and success of the film. It doesn't indicate what stars are coming back. Archives, script, artwork, and marketing behind the scenes. That's all it says. It doesn't say how many different featurettes that is, how much time. Not a whole lot. No other features listed. And it's funny. Didn't James Cameron want to come back and talk about his greatest movie of all time for us? He's coming back for the abyss. Why didn't he come back for this one? You know what? Don't worry about it. Packaging again. What the hell? Like, what is this? I've never seen this film. I have no ties to it. But like, what is this photoshopped Arnold hand throwing like a grenade over the shoulder? And then you've got these like photoshopped embers 
kind well, of like flying. This is the first time Jamie Lee's been on any pro promo, in including any of the previous releases. Well, despite all this hype and people besmirching my character in the comments for not having seen this, um, I'm not picking it up. He has particular tastes. Let's talk about Aliens, the third announced title. And next to Terminator 1 and 2, I honestly feel like this is probably the title people want the most, or I feel like I see the most comments about. Again, 4K Blu-ray, digital code combo pack. The features here, it's nothing new. But what I will say is when you actually see this stuff written down, it's like immense. Behind the scenes featurettes, all the deleted stuff. There's so much stuff that's included here, but it is all the same if you owned any of those previous like quadrilogies and, and whatever what else. Own. Yeah, so so nothing here. And again, James Cameron only coming back to talk on The, the Abyss, and he came back to talk on uh, Titanic as well. Now, again, for the third time, <laughs> the packaging. What is this freaking art? What is this picture? At the time when I saw this, I was just aghast. It looks yes. like a Netflix post-apocalyptic mom and daughter thing. Since when is their relationship <laughs> the most important thing to showcase on this cover art? Out of all the iconic imagery, why is their relationship the thing that has to be here? That is an odd choice, because I, like most people, when I hear aliens, the first thing that pops in the head is Paul Reiser. Can I finish? No. More photoshopped embers also. Luckily, the abyss is underwater, or they would have had the embers too. Newt is 50% of this cover. I don't know. I don't get this. This just seems like such an afterthought. I'm offended just seeing Walt Disney next to the title Aliens. I don't like that. I know it's not on the case, I know yeah. it's not on the box here, but just the association. And I say that because that's exactly what this cover feels like, is just... Sanitized? Yes, yes. Completely sanitized. Let's make aliens the boring, bland content that you just referenced. It's just forgettable garbage. When, I don't know, this is iconic. Aliens mean something fans of movies, fans who collect movies, not just casual, let's just buy this to own it, but actually the people like us, the people that watch this channel, mm -hmm. We care about this kind of stuff too. And it's almost like, yes, we want these movies, but we want them in a way that's memorable, a way that makes sense. When you pick this up, this doesn't even make sense what I'm looking at. As far as like what this feeling of this movie gives me, when I think of aliens, it's never the scene where they are trying to finally escape to get to the ship off the planet. Like I said, it's Paul Reiser. I hope you're right. I'm gonna go out on a limb and just hope that all of these get steel books, all of they these will. get something else they within will. the same time Listen. frame though. Like I'm saying like, this is just to get mm. it out there. I'm hoping for more. You've waited for 20 years. You can wait a couple months more. I'm telling you, that's my advice on this situation. That artwork to me is, it, it's that atrocious. It's so bad. It's that atrocious. And these titles are guaranteed to be, as I said, re-released, ongoing, until the end of time. I am going to wait until I have a proper cover for Aliens, and I'm going to wait until there is a proper cover for True Lies and ignore it. Just to wrap up this Cameron this Cameron talk, which I'll, I'll be honest, is 50% awesome, 50% a little depressing. Maybe 75% awesome, 25 I don't know. I mean, The news it is sucks. great. The it's news great is news. great. And great honestly, news. look, just for as fans of the movies, it's great to have, finally, good yes. transfers, a good presentation of... Cameron, he's a classic director of his work. I mean, I'm glad we're preserving film. I'm glad we're getting these yeah. and transfers that are great. But as far as something to own, kind of sucks. Not going to lie. So next up, Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. Well, obviously, Terminator 1 is the main thing of James Cameron that's missing here. Is that Disney putting out Terminator? Is that some other company putting out Terminator? I don't know, but... I guess they really wanted these three to come out for James Cameron first, but Terminator 1 is still out there. Will it get a badass release or just something like this? I don't know. I read something interesting about Terminator 2. It's kind of a, maybe this is real, maybe not, but I'll, we'll leave the people with this. A lot of people shit on James Cameron for Terminator 2, and they continue to look at these films and say, yeah, right, I'll believe it when I see it, that these are going to be good. Can Terminator 2 ever be redone? A lot of people seem to think that's probably it. That's James Cameron's vision. That's what he wanted, and we're not going to get anything else. What people are the most angry about is that it's got a ton of DNR, and it's been scrubbed and the one thing that it's been reported on and you can see it on the actual disc itself a master for a 3d um, presentation right mm -hmm. so in order to do that in order to watch anything in 3d they typically do a lot of denoise and a lot of you know grain removal and scrubbing so that the 3d experience is a lot better apparently james cameron did not approve some new transfer. He approved that 3D one that went to out for a 3D experience, but then behind his back, Studio Canal just took that and put that out. 
So he never actually sat down and said, I'm going to put out a 4K release for home media. That is the what I've read recently. So a lot of people are saying, OK, for next year with anniversaries coming up, like these are going to be all redone by James Cameron in a very similar way. If you're picking up any of these, let us know. If you hit the R2, let us know. We'll be back soon with our yes. top five 4Ks of the year. And make sure that you're already subscribed. And in the comments, let me know what is your favorite Paul Reiser moment in Aliens.